wanted to go ahead and show you guys a uh, video of the traditional chrome GM alternators with a single V slot wound. The one that you typically find people are buying uh, on eBay, other internet sites, 100 amp, 110 amps. Um, what the uh, idle production is on these with their stock pulleys, diameters, and you know, stock voltage versus our dental hairpin. So this is one of the factory GM ones we got off of eBay. 110 amp, probably doing that at max output, 3000 RPM, but idle is a big thing for a lot of the uh, old school vehicles uh, that are going out on cruise nights. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a comparison and contrast. So when we're testing this thing up, at rotor speed, 1500 RPMs, Voltage really isn't there, so I gotta raise it up just a tad. Raise it just a little bit, just to give you comparison. So 13.5 on these regulators are usually like around a 14.4, but it still isn't getting there because of the uh, state of rotor achievement. Raise it up just a tad. But if I go ahead and put a little bit of a load on it, remember this is 110 amp max output, so idle output on these also struggles. So if I put just a little bit of a load, there, you'll notice voltage just really just dies. I didn't even put that thing up to uh, 35 amps because it doesn't produce it at low RPM. This thing produces like around 18 to 25 amps at this rotor speed. If I go ahead and take the load off of it, we can get it back on to 13 volts. But the main problem with these is, a lot of these older cars, you guys are running electric cooling fans. Some of you are running dual electric cooling fans and at idle, you guys are drawing anywhere between 25 to 40 amps at idle. So these online alternators really aren't going to give you what it is that you're looking for. So I'm going to show you what our 160 amp units will do at idle. We're not going to worry about the max output. We've already shown plenty of videos of what our max output does. But just want to give you guys the difference and looking at where the tachometer is. I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine off to swap the alternators. I do got to go ahead and put the uh, camera down. So you're going to see a little bit of a blank screen and I'll get right back to you guys. But I'm not going to stop recording because I'm going to go ahead and put this unit on, okay? So bear with me. Sorry about that. You guys can fast forward that last 30 seconds of uh, time that you'll never get back. So we'll go ahead and fire this thing back up at the same revolutions that we had it on last time. Not doing anything different here. Just showing you what our voltage is using our different alternator design our smaller diameter V-belt pulley that we custom make showing you no load 15 volt set point same rotor speed as the last one you guys can go ahead and rewind to see that we did not change anything the only difference here is when your alternator is going to need to go ahead and put a load on we'll put this thing up to say 50 amps we're still on the mid 14th with the 50 amp draw the 
Again, this is at your rotor speed, which is basically going to be your cruising idle speed. Just a little bit higher than idle for the older cars because they don't they don't idle at 600 RPM. Those guys always have to raise their up. There's up a little bit higher. So 750, 800 RPM for the old school beat belt styles is not uncommon. So same rotor speed as the last one. Difference in voltage of over one and a half volts, but the difference being the old GM could only put out about 20, 25 amps under load and the voltage dropped to eight, where we can go ahead and raise this one up to 50. And you're still at 14, you're not at eight. You know, I guess obviously if you get into the higher amperage and low RPM, you're gonna see a little bit of a voltage drop, but you're not gonna go down to eight. Big difference. We show those numbers again same rotor speed different pulley diameter different design alternator so the difference between these and these is drastically different so if you guys got those old school Fords old school Lincoln Chevy's and you're having issues where your batteries are getting drained when you go out on cruise nights and you're thinking that your alternator was supposed to perform um, just look at the specifications on your alternators because most everybody is giving you the max output ratings but when you're going out on cruise nights you could really care less about max output ratings you want that idle output ratings where you don't have to drive home and your batteries are dead when you get home after a uh, fun night of cruising that really uh, isn't that fun so there's your uh, differences between the two any uh, questions or comments please drop them in the uh, comment section below thank you